And good morning. The time now is 756. Here's a look at that radar. We are seeing those rain bands starting to build up in and around just off the coast here in Galveston. So if you are in Galveston and expect that rain to start intensifying to become quite heavy and sometimes within the next 30 minutes to an hour there as we head into uh, the rest of today, a few isolated showers in and around Harris County. Those of course moved off towards the northeast of us there, but expecting to see mostly of those slick roads still from that misty conditions. Of course, that cloud cover still being a factor here. Looking at that future cast, this is our hurt HRR model. This is showing a better resolution of that uh, hurricane of Laura as it moves off towards the north, expecting a Texas Louisiana state line landfall as a major category three hurricane. So as we look at the next several couple of days within the next 12 to 24 hours, we are expecting to see some heavy rain up to 10 to 15 inches of rain for southwestern Louisiana. That does include portions of Port Arthur all the way to Beaumont. The heaviest rain is going to remain well off towards uh, the east of Houston. However, we could see those isolated scattered thunderstorms and showers as we are going to be dealing with potential impacts from Hannah. Also, the main threat is that storm surge. So even though we're not going to see the blunt impact from that storm, that storm surge is going to be a potential problem for us. We can expect a three to five foot storm surge here in Galveston Bay, two to four foot uh, storm surge in Brazoria County, but then areas along the Louisiana coast up to six to 15 feet foot of a storm surge of with water inundating water moving in from the coast as Hurricane Laura starts pushing that water inland and like Hannah just mentioned, she showed you that tweet. They're already dealing with flooding conditions in Louisiana, so the time to evacuate is running out for Louisiana. That's not us here in Southeast Texas as of now, but we don't want to be in that situation where we're kind of doing stuff at the last minute, so you could uh, potentially run into some traveling conditions as we are now going to be dealing with the rainfall and potential flooding along the coast. Back to you.